are watching Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I am your host, Curtis Anderson, back at the Broadway Roastery today, joined by returning to Saskatoon, singer-songwriter Stephen McGuire. Stephen, okay, you moved here from Belfast, Ireland last summer. Correct. You went back in the fall for a tour. You're back now again for the cold winter. What have the last six months brought for you? Uh, the last six months have been great because um, I was fortunate enough to tour with Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> yeah, which, like, you know, was unbelievable. Um, totally clips the heart. I need a hero and stuff. And to hear that live every night for a month or so was amazing. And, um, yeah, I've been on the road quite a bit. Um, since I've seen you last, I've been in Paris. Did a week in Euro Disney, mm -hmm. and, um, which went really well. And, yeah, just had a, like a quiet Christmas and New Year and really looking forward to what's coming up in the next couple of months. And we'll talk about the next couple of months in a few seconds, but first things first, let's go back. You had your CD release party kind of at the beginning of fall. How did that go? Feedback for the uh, original disc? Yeah, really good. I mean, I kind of went out on a limb because, you know, you know yourself, singer-songwriters, whoever's watching this, who's like in that genre, you kind of put yourself on the, on the line. You know, and if people don't like you, they don't like you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of so raw, and um, that's what I like about that. But um, the feedback's been good. Um, it's like, what I liked about it was because I am singing myself, mm -hmm. guitar, that's what you got on the first album. Mm -hmm. You know, so kind of what you saw live is what you got on the album to a certain extent. But yeah, the feedback's been good, and um, yeah, it's been pretty positive. All right. You got a brand new hat. My hair is a little longer than you last, true, than, than you last saw, so yeah. we have some catching up to do, but what do the next couple months bring for you? This week I'm in Alberta. I play a gig in Canmore, which I'm looking forward to, because the last time I was in Canmore I nearly lost my life on a white water raft. Yeah. But, <laughs> so that's, that's my only memory of Canmore, but I'm really looking forward to that. And um, then we're in Broken City, in, in, in the city of Calgary. Then I come back. First gig in Saskatoon is on Friday the 13th. Oh, Believe it or not, nice. it's you know, uh, yeah, and then I'm in McNally Robinson on Valentine's night, and all over the place play the hose on the 22nd, and then we we'll go away again. I'm in Nashville this year. I'm all over the place. We got to talk about Valentine's Day with Stephen McGuire. What can people expect? That's romantic. Oh, that's Come out to McNally Robinson on Valentine's Day. You got Valentine's Day, Stephen McGuire. Is that going to be like five star show? Oh man, that's that. You're talking dark chocolate, red roses, all of the above. Yeah. You know, Are you gonna like have a? Are you going to roll with your guitar and sing right into like people as they're Absolutely. eating? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, think you're in Mexico for the evening. I'm okay. telling you, you'll be getting the full thing right up to the table. Last but not least, you got a big plans, big plans for St. Patrick's Day. We are going to do an entire episode of Strip Down about this. You're like Strip Down alumni. You helped kick off or finish last season, I yeah, guess, sure. but you're coming back. A two-peat guest on Strip Down. Look for that. Second week in March, what are we going to be talking about for one hour on Strip Down? We're going to be talking about Irish Fest that is going to happen on St. Patrick's Day, which I think is a Tuesday night, which I'm absolutely thrilled about. There's going to be uh, Irish dancers, there's going to be like basically Irish traditional music. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be performing, you're going to be able to get a taste of Ireland, there's going to be food there, and it's a family day, it's going to be fantastic, so yeah, get your tickets soon. That sounds like the real deal when it comes to St. Patrick's Day in Ireland. It's going to be like folk fest at the Odeon. Absolutely. I All hope right. so. All right. Check it out. Uh, second week of March will be the uh, strip down with Stephen McGuire again. Thank you so much for joining us and good luck. Thank you. Let's have some more coffee. Cheers.